Storm chasers see a lot of pretty storms, and we all have stories to tell that don't involve tornadoes. But we all know what we're after. This is what all of us storm chasers congregate in the middle of the United States every spring to see. And on May 23rd, 2024, we got it. I waited all day in Arnett, Oklahoma. And if you've never been to Arnett, Oklahoma, you do not want to be waiting all day in Arnett, Oklahoma for storm initiation. So go figure, after all that, when storms finally do fire, there are two hours of driving south of me. Go figure. Temperatures pushing 90 degrees across a sharp dry line presented an opportunity for explosive storms and potentially for major tornadoes. But only if we could squeeze it in before our storms moved into stable air to the east. The low-level jet was ramping up into the evening, and the timing seemed perfect. So, begrudgingly, I drove south to the storm. And then I drove north again because I had driven a little bit too far south. And finally, after watching a tornado shaping up in the distance, I positioned myself directly in its path to intercept it. Wow. Can't get caught gawking on this one. El Dorado, Oklahoma tornado did little damage, and in the end, it was rated EF2. Nearby mobile radar trucks, though, observed winds well over 200 miles per hour, and theoretically, this tornado could have achieved EF5 status. It was a truly classic, violent tornado, 
moving slowly through open terrain in the spring on the plains. Thanks for watching.